Hello everyone, it's Yolanda. I know it's been a hot minute since I last did a video. I post something that, you know, something crafty, something I've made, and I hope to get back on the, you know, posting of videos and being consistent. And then I just fall off the face of the earth for months. But uh, before I jump into the video, you will hear the washing machine in the background, possibly the dryer. Just giving you a little heads up. So this haul video, this is dedicated to Miss Jill Norwood. I don't know if Jill watches my videos, but I watch her. And if you aren't watching her, you should check her out. Her and Lisey46. And I know there's other people that do these type of videos, but Jill yearly will do Christmas tags. Super cute tags. And she shares, uh, you know, what... what where what stamp she uses and the whole nine yards and they're super cute she says her family like looks forward to them and they don't even use them as tags they hang them on their tree as ornaments so i've been watching some of her videos and of course it just it puts you in the urge to either shop or surge go on a hunt for these now defunct rubber stamp companies that you know aren't no longer in, are, excuse me are no longer in business and you can find some of them on ebay if you want to pay like 25 bucks and up but this past weekend, I got so darn lucky, I cannot believe it, which is why I'm here. So it seems gingerbread is like the theme for this year, for this holiday season coming up. And Jill has been posting the cutest, oh my goodness, the cutest uh, tags. And so I, yeah, I can't believe what I found and I'm gonna show you right now. <laughs> so anyhow, without further ado, I will show you. This was from a craft garage sale. I, long story short, I know the lady that does them at her home. Every couple years, she'll sell off some stuff, some more stuff. And her sister, her name is Kendall, her sister owned the local stamp store that I used to go to all the time. And so on Friday, I happened to be driving by. I saw she had her sign out, but I was in a hurry to go somewhere so I couldn't stop. And then on the way back, I stopped and I went up to her door and I asked her, hey, are you guys gonna be out here tomorrow? She said, yes, at nine o'clock, and that Kendall was gonna be there too. So I'm like, I have to come check it out because Kendall is like the OG stamper. You know, she's had not only from her shop, but she's been making cards and rubber stamping for four, just probably longer than I was. And I knew if anybody would have some good stuff, she would. So Saturday morning, I got there nine o'clock, no, 8.45, had my coffee in hand, I was ready to shop. And she, they had everything laid out perfectly and really organized by theme. It was great, like it was really easy to shop because everything was just, you didn't have to dig through like a box of stamps. Everything was just displayed very nicely. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you what I got. I'm gonna say what I would say is the best for last and I will just show you the rest. The majority is Christmas related and a couple of them aren't, but in no particular order, here we go. All right, this, look at this cutie, cute little snowman. This is a Penny Black stamp from 2002, Margaret Sherry collection. And I know Penny Black, the company is still around, but look at the price on that, 50 cents. Adorable. This one is from the Rugger, Rugger. The Rubber Necker Stamp Company. Again, all the stamps were 50 cents a piece with the exception of one. Cute little Christmas bulb. I thought this would be really cute paper pieced. This one is by Imaginations. Uh, there's no uh, name or number. Nice, cute little candle. I think that would be really cute on a tag. This cute snowman is by the Peddler's Pack and also no, no number or name, but look at that cute snowman. That's adorable. That one. Now this one, look at, look at how cute this one is. This is also the Rubbernecker Stamp Company. There's no name or number, but super cute snowman and it's a it's a pretty big stamp the wood block measures four and a half by six so it's a pretty big size image this could be a nice uh, card front and then these are the non-christmas this is again imaginations the number is j801d like david 
cute bunny. Look at she's wearing little bunny slippers. Has two little bunnies in her pockets. Cute. This one was the only stamp that was a quarter. And it was the Dela it is the Delafield Stamp Company number H740. And it's tourists pointing and looking at something. And I don't don't ask me why. I'm gonna peel this off. We can see what it looks like. Look at how cute that little boy. Little headphones on. His little Walkman. Um, don't ask me why, Rox, if you're watching. This stamp reminds me of you. <laughs> All right. And this one I'm excited to use because I'm in a swap for August that is school themed. And this is perfect. It's by Stamp Passions. Look at this cute bus. Adorable. So if any of my fellow swappers are watching, this is what your card is going to be made with. Can't wait to color it. All right, here is the um, most amazing stamp. So like I said, gingerbread seemed to be the popular theme for the tags that Jill is making. Actually, her gingerbread tags are so darn cute and popular. She uses, um, ba, ba, ba. oh gosh, Peachy Keen, the face stamps for a lot of them. And they're the the designer maker of those stamps has retired. I have a few of their stamps sets, their faces if you haven't seen them, they're just faces. Well, Jill stamps are so, excuse me, Jill's tags are so popular and people wanted to know where did she get the faces that she stamps the gingerbread with that she reached out to the owner of that Peachy Keen and she did a limited release of like two sets that were what Jill mainly uses, but that's how like popular her tags are. They're so cute. So I got lucky. I got really, really lucky and I was able to order the two sets. I think the sale, not sale, but I think the window closed already. Um, Jill did a video explaining everything and had the links and stuff. So, but I got really lucky. So I better get on those darn gingerbread tags. So, all right, the next one, the next two, and I'm showing them together because it's a boy and a girl and it's by Stamp Passions. Are you ready? Look at these. Oh my gosh. It's uh, Diana Markham, 1999, for Stamp Passions. And it says large gingerbread boy and large gingerbread girl. The girl is number G4311 and the boy is G4310. But look how stinking adorable these are. When I saw them, I, oh my gosh, I was, I just couldn't believe it. I was so excited and I can't wait to color these. I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait to make something with them. All right. The next one are by Imaginations. Again, super cute boy and girl gingerbread. Look at how cute these are. The boy is W950 and the girl is W951. Look at these, 50 cents a piece. I cannot believe it. I'm just, I'm still in shock. So I can't wait to use them. And the last one, I have seen similar stamps, not this design, but well, let me just show you. It's Stamp Passions. Grandma's favorite recipe. Look at that. A gingerbread. And it says Grandma's gingerbread and it has a recipe. But I've seen other stamps, similar design. I saw a carrot cake one. I, somebody did a haul video. There was a sugar cookie one. But look at that. Oh my gosh. 50 freaking cents. And this is by Diana Markham again in 1998. Isn't that crazy? Look at that. I paid six dollars for all these stamps I couldn't believe it yeah I can't I'm still blown away but I'm super excited to have them so you can try to find them on eBay I know I mean I've seen some on eBay that were ridiculously priced but anyhow thanks for watching uh, I hope you um, watch check Jill out check out Lee C 46 and Jill, oh gosh, they just make the cutest Christmas tag. So uh, thanks for watching and hopefully I can come back with some more videos, maybe share some projects I make with these. 
But um, until next time, I hope you are all crafting and happy and healthy. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.